pretty much invented the uh, three-man genre and just changed the way you pretty much could book a group of guys together on one side rather than just like a hodgepodge of a manager's three guys or, you know, a tag team. and one. These three literally took over the scene as a trio. And I guess, you know, with Uncle Terry there, you know, I'm sure there's some of the stories that are out there about the Freebirds. Uh, I'm sure there's uh, there's some truth to a couple of them, but is there anything that you remember really stands out about, you know, growing up amidst the uh, the Freebird, you know, lifestyle, the craziness, and, uh, you know, the legend that really is the Freebirds as we look back? Oh, wow, there's so many. I mean, uh, 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 one of the things that stands out for me is, uh, whenever they were doing videotape in their Georgia Championship Wrestling, and I got to go in the back and, uh, you know, where the producers were and where all the monitors were. I think this was the same headquarters as CNN at the time. I, uh, mm-hmm. this, this was, uh, Terry and Michael were working at an angle where they were splitting up from each other. And uh, From there, they went on to, uh, I think it was Augusta. Michael had a better brain than me. He'll remember the town, but... Man, as a young kid, I don't know, I was maybe 12, 13. I got to travel with Terry, Terry and his van. You know, sometimes he would live in the van on the beach and, you know, it had a sink in it, a couch in the back. You know, just me and him tra- traveling through uh, Georgia uh, all the way, uh, I think it was Augusta. And then, you know, Michael, he was teaming with, Terry was teaming with Jimmy Snuka. And, and Michael, I uh, forget who his partner was, man, but to see them go at it at each other, knowing that they were such close friends, uh, I went back after the matches and I seen Michael. And I was like, oh, God, uh, you know, here they are into it. I hope you don't say you know, I wasn't really smartened up to the, to the, to the uh, extent in which I would later be. But I thought, you know, it, it was kind of heartbreaking, really, to see those, those, those two being split up and going that they were uh, so close, you know, uh, and they were working that angle. And, and Michael's coming to me, he said, hey, Richard, and I was right, the family, and I was like, you know, kind of shaking there. <laughs> One of the I know, that's, uh, no, that's great, too. I mean, you know, and Michael Hayes, of course, is still to this day, you know, his stamp is on the wrestling business. But, uh, you know, what is your, what's your take on Michael Hayes being uh, the creative uh, gun that he really is still to this day, you know, it's 2015 wrestling. Well, the 2015, I mean, Michael uh, has the ability to evolve and adapt. I mean, the man's got a great mind. I mean, he's always been able to talk and and, and do interviews. And he's great with a microphone. And, um, you know, uh, for instance, if you ever go with uh, Look at some of those old videos, the free bird rule. Uh, him, Buddy, and Terry, and I think it was their first big promo on, on Georgia Championship Wrestling, the free bird rule. Look it up, man. It, it, it's, it's one of the biggest and best things that I've ever heard. And, you know, uh, this is not, when we was referring to Terry, he said, this is not a, a uh, dr- uh, drugstore cowboy. It's not an urban urban cowboy. It's a space cowboy. You know? and some of the stories that <laughs> come up with, it's, it's just uh, it's mind blowing, really. Uh, really.